2009, I began writing random articles on a website called Hub Pages in an attempt to earn some passive income by doing so. And so you write articles on this website, you put them up there, they put ads on the page, and then you get a cut of the earnings that they make. Now, I started this as an experiment literally 14 years ago in 2009, and I wrote a handful of articles, actually a bunch of articles, I ended up writing a bunch of them, probably like 80 or so, uh, and put them up there. And what was interesting is I ended up writing an article showing how I was earning passive income, about $2 per month from every article that I was writing, which was kind of cool and kind of promising. And then I just let it go and completely forgot about it and didn't think anything of it. And then I got an email just uh, about a month ago from someone in our community, and she had read the article that I'd written all those years ago talking about this. And she said, I thought I'd give you a quick update on my Hub Pages experience. This is what she said. She said, a year ago, I submitted three articles that were each published on Hub Pages. Uh, and then she said, I've done nothing with the platform since then. And today I just received a check for $51, which she was pretty excited about. And she said that motivated her to start writing a few more. And so she added that to her to-do list as something to do. So then she goes on to explain that she was just thrilled and excited that this random check came out of the blue that she wasn't even thinking anything about because she had just kind of forgotten about it. And I got to thinking about this because I had completely forgotten about this for nearly a decade now. And so anyway, getting this email from her made me think, all right, maybe I should go back and check what's been going on with me because I honestly just haven't been paying attention for such a long time. So I went back and looked just to see what's been going on with our earnings on Hub Pages. And I'll just share my screen with you so you can see this. This was pretty crazy. And so I went back and looked and it's like, oh, I made $42 last month. In the previous month, I made $57. Or actually, I'm sorry. January is already $42, a month isn't even over. Previous month's $57, previous month $59, previous month $78 basically. And again, this is for articles that I wrote nearly a decade ago and haven't done anything with since. And if you just keep scrolling back through my earnings, it's just pretty much every single month they've been sending me money for a decade now from these articles that I did a decade ago. I mean, back, back here, 2019, it was earning a good bit more. It was $150 average per month. Go back further, like some of these months are 250, 300. Uh, you know, so it's drifted downwards. But at the end of the day, like I'm just tickled pink that they're still <laughs> sending me money for doing it. So the reason I'm sharing this is just because uh, if you are someone who wants to write articles and random articles, this is something to possibly consider. Uh, you know, and I went back through and like I said, I'd probably written about 80 articles. And so you don't need to write that many. In her case, she had written three articles and got a $50 check by doing that over the course of a year. But with me, the 80 or so articles that I had written, a lot of them honestly are unpublished now. And so Hub Pages over the years had unpublished them, I guess, because they came, became dated or, or outdated or something. And so I, I think now I probably only have 20 or 30 articles actually still published and live on their website. Again, and that's what's earning this just steady stream of, you know, relatively small passive income, but that's not the point. The point is, like, had I, you know, and it's like, and I was focused on other aspects of our business, but had I just continued once a month, just continued to add articles to the site over the last decade, like, this would be way, way more. So all that to say, I get people asking me all the time, like, looking for passive income ways things that they can do on the side a few hours here or there to like start building up some passive income and this would be something that i would consider if i were in your shoes trying to find one of those things right now so that article that she mentioned is right here where i go into like a lot more detail of kind of that whole experiment that you know updated in 2020 originally written in probably 2009 i think and so this is uh, worth checking out if you want to do, you know, dive in deeper on any of this. But I will just kind of give you a brief overview. And so Hub Pages, if, if this doesn't make sense to you, it's just basically a, a, a website that has all kinds of different topics written about it. And so I remember one of my, one of my hubs or articles I'd written was like, can you use a lemon to get a light bulb to turn on? One of them was like, Bible verses about something blank. I don't remember what. One of them, or a few of them were written about like specific budgeting strategies. Uh, so they were really just all over the place in terms of topic that I was covering. It wasn't just like financial stuff. And I think that's kind of what I liked is that it gave me an outlet to write about some of these ideas that I had that wouldn't fit on my financial website, you know? Uh, 
And so if you have anything that you're remotely interested in, um, I don't know, it's just not a bad way to just throw some things out there and see what happens. Now, I will say this, and I talk about this in the, the article a little bit. One way to like help yourself succeed with this and do a little better is to actually learn how to do some keyword research. And if you don't know what that is, essentially it comes down to what are people searching for in Google? You know what I mean? And so if you have a million people every day searching for X topic and then 10 searching for Y topic, you'd rather write about X topic. And there are all kinds of free tools that you can use to do this keyword research uh, and then plenty of paid tools as well. And so that's something, but I guess my point in saying all that is that's going to help you do better with this whole thing. Because if you're just writing random articles with no thought behind it, it's kind of like you know throwing darts in the dark. But but if you're actually doing some keyword research, you'll know what people are searching for in Google and you'll have a head start on creating content or at least wrapping it in a package using a title that they might be searching for. And that's just gonna help you get more eyeballs to your page and therefore help you make more money with it. So anyway, I just wanted to share this because I thought this just really illustrates the power of what happens when you just create something that can live on. When you create something that's gonna continue to generate royalties for you or passive income for you and uh, how fun it is when you can just kind of forget about it and the checks just keep coming. So anyway, that is your passive income lesson for the day. And let me know if you've ever done this, if you plan on doing it, uh, if you have any questions, like let me know. I'd love to chat further about any of this. And I'll have a link to the article and you can check that out uh, if you have any further questions as well. All right, take care. See ya. really love creating fresh content for you each week, but if you have not checked out our book, Simple Money, Rich Life, this really is our best work, and we have some free resources we want to tell you about. So if you enjoy listening to our soothing voices, then you can download chapter one of the audiobook. And if you prefer to read, we have the first two chapters of the ebook version. Or we even have a five-week book study outline based on this book. You can download all of this for free at seedtime.com slash sample.